Tigers. Arkansas won the toss. They chose it a fur, and Auburn will receive at the goal line. Tristan Davis has some room at the 20. High steps outside of the 30 and is pushed down at the back to back first down. Big chunks of yardage being uh, rung up right now by Auburn. But not this time. Watch Brandon Cox, the quarterback. After he makes the pitch, he's going to peel back over here to the left hand side. And you're going to see he was the one that was actually going to get this pass. It was going to be a throwback across the field, but there was two. Second down and seven after the pickup of three. Mustang throws. They set up the screen. Far side. Down the sideline goes the speedster Felix Jones. He's 3-0 and as a starter at Arkansas. Second down, nine. Hot slant. Caught. Big yards. And a first down. That's a big first down. You're going to see a great quick drop by Mitch Mustaine right here. And what is really unique about number 22, Peyton Hillis right here, he's a fullback. But he's lined up outside. Some guys be beaten. We'll have to wait and find out. Outside they go. Jones, he may go. Pop at the 20-yard line. Gus Malvon was telling us that he wanted to find ways to get the ball to Felix Jones, number 25. He is the speed man. He's got great ability. He makes people miss out in the open field. They're going to find ways to get the football to number 25. And they've got that three-headed monster, Darren McFadden, Felix Jones. Davis, his longest of the season, 24. And the kick is away. And from the 20-yard line. They stretch it out to higher to lose four back to the 16. Let's go to New York. 126 in second a game with a score. That is a new school record now after the Mustang, the true freshman, all day to throw over the middle complete. Well, D gets an A here in Auburn. Yeah, you, you, I mean, look at the numbers in that column right there, the rushing numbers. You got 88.2 yards a game they're, they're, they're giving up. Third in the SEC. They're doing a super job. The emotional win over Alabama. Hey, Auburn still beat up after that LSU game. Quick pass. Sideline. Caught it. Oh, baby. See you later. Touchdown, Marcus Monk. Position. Right there, a little bit of, little bit of physical contact going on there. And Marcus Monk, six foot five, big receiver. But look at the throw by Mustaine. He throws it off his back foot. He's not even looking. Just kind of floats Monk it out. Mustaine to Monk. We'll be back on CBS. We're going the opening quarter that's belonged to Arkansas thus far. The handoff, Lester, little stop and go, and that has it. Cox throws, complete. Good read by Arkansas defensively as they wrap up Taylor. Strike from Cox to Smith. The freshman, 82 yards and that 50-yard touchdown mark to Marcus Monk. On the ground they go, past the 40 as McFadden to the 40. But they're both playing pretty solid right now. No I think it could have been caught by Rod Smith if he's inbounds. Irons weaves his way for a couple of yards. And let's go back. Picks up 23 yards and a first down. Irons again. Oh, stood up. This guy because he runs so hard. They come in round. Little stop and go. Taylor lost it on the turf. Did he get it back? be upset because the kid wants more yards. No doubt about it. I mean, you got Cordy Taylor, very reliable, very dependable. He doesn't, he's not careless with that football. He's just trying to make a play. And fortunately, a loss of two. Cox looks one way, still in the pocket, and down he goes. First time today, Cox is leveled. And they'll drop him. You know, the success Auburn's having in the running game, you would think it would open up some play action passes for him. Good job protecting by the offensive line. But you know what? On a play like that with a quick play action, you have. Cox on the rollout. Tucks and runs. And this time, Tuberville will fall short at the 32. You're going to see in the flat coming out when Brandon Cox rolls this way. You're going to see he's got a receiver in the flat right in front of him, right there. If he throws it, hits him on the numbers, he's going to turn up and make that first down pretty easily, I believe. It was Courtney Taylor. 
wide open. I don't know what Brandon Cox was looking at there. The odds of him making it on a rollout, picking up five yards against a very athletic, had a long time to sit on the sidelines, wait for their next opportunity. McFadden looked pretty excited on that play to have the football in his arms. I, I think he's ready to roll a few times here. McFadden, the number two rusher in the SEC behind Kenny Irons. Boy, he hits that hole. Upfield he goes. Watch out. McFadden at the 25, 15, 5. Touchdown. I just had a feeling <laughs> they were going to feed the big man. And what a great, great job of protect, blocking up Elton right here coming down. Louis sealing it off. And you're going to see Parker right here pulling around the edge and sealing it off in a super job of the timing of the play. No one even touches Darren McFadden. And you get that big man with those shoulders square coming up the field. We talk about it, his strength and how physical he is. 63 yards goes Darren McFadden. Get physical, power the ball up in and let Kenny Irons do his stuff. Irons, 20-yard line. Pitch. Irons stumbles to the 19. Nearly as good as Auburn, but pretty solid on the season. Misdirection. That ball batted and nearly oh. intercepted. More heads up play by the quarterback number 12. You got Antoine Rod. Look at he tips the ball Third up in the air. Bad. And Cox knows that Robinson's going to pick that ball off and does a super job of selling out and knocking that ball. You see right here, watch that left arm. Bop! Just slaps it out. Arkansas's lead the seven. Razorbacks have come in here, unranked. And fresh off that overtime win against Alabama. And remember, a little bit and trying to mess up the opposing defense. Third down, seven, big hole right up the middle to the 40-yard line. First down goes Felix Jones. And that's well, a near flawless first half for that man under center. Mustaine as he hands off again. Jones, big hole. And right now, Arkansas chewing up some big yards in the final second, seconds of the second quarter. That's it. Two quarters are in the book. Special having to win this ball game. Mustaine from the shotgun. Little draw, delay. McFadden wrestles his way to the... Look at a pass. Mustaine out of the backfield to Hillis. Stacked up 45-yard line. First down. Coming out of the back. He's a fullback right here. All he's going to do is come straight out in the flat. And it's going to be a little semi-roll by Mitt Mustaine, and he's going to do a good job, nice and controlled, keeps his composure, delivers a strike to the very versatile Peyton Hillis in the flat. Super gutsy call by Houston Nutt in high school. Arkansas again facing third down. Mustaine pulls it out and lowers his pads to the fifth. Real quickly, listen to this hit. Mm. Auburn will load up three wides to the near side. Cox, though, hands off to Irons, and he has dropped for a five-yard loss. See player of the week defensively last week for making plays like this. Look, he was a, just shot out of a cannon coming through there today, obviously. Now by a touchdown with the football, third down. In the pocket, watch out. Cox! Yeah, this was coming, but he paid the price at the end of this. He's holding the ball. There's good protection, but right there, coming out of the side, Jamal. Look at this formation. Coming out of the pile, Reggie Fish leans out to the six. Yeah, from this angle, there's right there, sitting down, right, but almost in a field goal holder stance. The Auburn defense can't see him, but Karibi Didi, right there, number 21, you'll see him. He's the one that almost makes a tackle right there. And in college football, you are allowed. And Hillis. They send Jackson in motion. The pitch comes outside and dancing Should've in. I've been thinking, seven. hey, this guy's. Edge speed. He's going to get to the edge. Will Herring had a chance. Number third of the season, and it opens up a 24-10 lead here in Auburn. Now for our AFLAC question and answer. The question, who was the first SEC player to win both the Outland and Lombardi trophies in the same year? Let's take you back to 1998. Tracy Rocker of Auburn, 1988, was the year he won both the Outland and Lombardi. He's now the defensive line coach for the Razorbacks of Arkansas. And what a great career he had. You know, SEC Player of the Year in 88, two-time All-American, was just last year inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. Tremendous career for Tracy Rocker. And there he is on the sideline. He's still at his playing weight, it looks like. Who would have like. thought 
Three points out of the Clemson offense today. Cox is down. At the who was their best defensive lineman. Ernest Mitchell, number 90 right there. Stepped up last week and played it in love. Under two minutes to play, Tommy Trott, the motion man, the tight end. Now Cox throws with a flat. And he'll lose a couple. You know, he went. I think I agree with the call. Fourth and nine. The odds are not in Auburn's favor of getting this, but I think you got to take a shot at it right here. Three wide receivers, two to the near side. Cox tries to sprint out. The pocket collapses, and down he goes. Oh, tip your hat to this young Arkansas team. They have been putting pressure on that front line all day. And not only do you give the ball back to Arkansas, you give them 10 more yards by taking the 10 yard loss.